After high expectations, India breathed a sigh of relief looking at the smooth liftoff of the PSLV on Monday morning. But just as the celebration was about to begin, it soon turned into a disappointment. The rocket lifted off beautifully from the first launch pad of Sriharikota around 10.18 a.m. The first two stages of the rocket performed as expected. Everything was going well as the rocket rode into space. The second stage separated and the ignition of the third stage began. The ignition was to last for 125 seconds as scientists watched with bated breath. It was precisely at this moment when the PSLV had malfunctioned during its last flight in May 2025. The third stage performance was normal and the rocket geared to enter the coasting stage. It is when the thrusters are shut off and the rocket continues moving forward without any force. It was 370 kilometers up into the space, gliding at a velocity of about 5 kilometers per second. It is at this precise moment, six minutes into the flight, that ISRO knew that something was amiss. They waited. The mission could not be accomplished. And ISRO chairman Dr. V. Narayanan confirmed that the rocket had indeed deviated from its path. He said, and I quote, the PSLV is a four-stage vehicle with two solid stages and two liquid stages. The performance of the vehicle close to the end of the third stage was as expected. But then we saw some disturbance in the vehicle and subsequently some deviation in its flight path. He said that we are analyzing the data and we shall come back at the earliest. Well, PSLV. PSLV is ISRO's workhorse, its most dependable rocket, one that the space agency has relied on for conducting over 60 space flights. Today's attempt was its 64th flight. This is the same rocket which has successfully realized some of India's biggest space dreams so far. Chandrayaan-1, Mars Orbiter Mission, Aditya L-1 and the Astrosat Mission. In the year 2017, it also set the world record by launching 104 satellites in a single mission. So what really went wrong? Now, if you remember, last year in May, the PSLV had encountered a similar issue during its third stage. This stage is fueled by solid propellants. The rocket was carrying an important Earth observation satellite that time, RISAT 1B, at a very sensitive time. But the mission could not be accomplished and the rocket fell back into the ocean. The Failure Analysis Committee, FAC, was formed to investigate the cause and rectify it. The ISRO chairman earlier confirmed that the report has been submitted to the PMO, but the space agency did not issue any statement or reveal the cause of the malfunction. So while that was on, it decided to bring the PSLV back to the launch pad, confident of its success. Alas, it faced a second setback within the course of an year. Remember, each mission cost a few hundred crore with money spent on building the entire rocket and the satellites and the time invested into the process. PSLV may even cost about 200 crore. This was also 2026 first launch for ISRO, a year incredibly important for the space agency as it prepares for missions like Gaganyaan. And most importantly, this mission also carried an important Earth observation satellite developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. It would have strengthened our remote sensing capabilities. To add to it, there were 15 other co-passenger satellites, a commercial collaboration through New Space India Limited. This included Theos 2, built jointly by the UK and Thailand, a re-entry capsule by a Spanish startup, and payloads by a startup based in Brazil, and technological demonstration satellite developed by our local startups, Druva Space and Take Me to Space. So what next? The Department of Space will again set up a failure analysis committee to investigate what really went wrong. Was it the same issue as last year? And if yes, why it could not have been rectified? And if it was, then what really went wrong? It's definitely a really challenging time for the Indian Space Research Organization considering millions are spent on each launch and building a satellite and the rocket.